Hi again, folks. I'm Trish Triumpho Sullivan, and we're going to talk right now about focal length of lenses. So focal length basically means lens size. So it's pretty simple. When you hear focal length, it means the size of the, le the lens or how long the lens is. Right? Is it a long lens or a short lens? That's basically it. And it's measured in millimeters. So you'll see it always with little mm, little millimeter thing after the size of the lens. If you're looking on the lens, you can read it. It'll say mm, you know, like 50 mm or, or um, 17 mm, that kind of thing. Um, so the focal length of the lens goes from the film plane, right, where the film or the sensor is, that's the media that records your image, whether it's film or sensor, it's called the film plane, right? The focal length that goes from the film plane back here up to the front of the lens, okay? So that's called the focal length of the lens. Let's move on and we will talk about the different kinds of lenses. And remember, they are measured in millimeters. Okay, so there's four main types of lenses. We'll go over these one at a time. So the main lens, the, the most common lens, the one that like comes with your camera, if you're buying an SLR, is called a standard lens. Right? Standard lens. And that's because it's the most versatile of all the lenses. Right? So if we're looking at, um, at it from the side, it would look probably about like that from the side of the camera, okay? And the most common size is 50 millimeters. Okay. Um, but they can go anywhere from 45 to 55 millimeters. I have on one of my cameras, I have a 45 millimeter lens, and on another, I have a 55 millimeter lens, and they're both considered standard lenses, okay? So the field of view for these, is 47 degrees, okay? Um, and like I said, actually, let me erase this. And we'll write it over here so you can see it a little bit better. So 47 degrees is the, is the um, field of view there, okay? So, um, it is the most common. Right? It's the most versatile. And it's the most like our own eye. Right? And um, that's definitely a that's definitely a big deal because that's what why that's one of the reasons that we um, that we use it very much is because it's going to give us results that look most like how we see how we normally see. Okay, um, the second type of lens is called a telephoto. And if we're looking at that one from the side. Um, you're going to see that it's longer, right? It's a long lens. Telephotos are long lens. Um, they're usually about 200 millimeters. That's a real common one. But they can go anywhere from 60 millimeters right, to up to 500 or even more. I mean, but I'm talking about common sizes here. Okay, so 
200 millimeters is, is very common, um, and, but commonly they can be anywhere from 60 to 500. Um, sometimes you'll see um, sports, guy, uh, sports photographers photographing sports where their lens is so long and so huge that they've got to have a separate tripod just to hold the lens because it's just too big for the, it would probably break off from the camera just from its weight if you tried to, to just hold the camera by itself. So the telephoto lens um, has a, uh, a field of view. Oops. more like it, of 17 degrees, which means it narrows the field of view. So if we're looking with our with our eyes, right, and we have a field of view of about 47, 48 degrees, we can, in our peripheral vision, we can see quite a bit from the side, right? We can see stuff going on around the side, right? With a telephoto lens, it narrows that field of view so you so we can't see what's going on in the side. We can only see what's kind of directly in front of us, okay? So the field of view is a narrower field of view and it's 17 degrees. Okay. So um, the it has a narrow or very shallow depth of field. Remember, the, the longer the lens, the narrower the depth of field. So that's always just good to remember. Um, it's great for close-ups. Right, great for close-up work. Um, uh, and it's great for things that you can't get close to normally. In other words, a sports game, right? You're not going to jump out in the field amongst the soccer players and start taking photos, right? You need to be off on the side. So, you, but you want to get close to the action, you use a telephoto lens, okay? The same with nature. You can't really like necessarily go up right next to an elephant or a lion or, you know, whatever wild animal or even a bird because it might scare it and it'll fly away. But you can use your telephoto lens and you can get a very close up photo um, when you're at a safe distance from your thing. So it's great for nature um, and sports. Okay, so those are the two of the most common ones. And then the third, mo the third one um, so right, so far we've talked about standard, right, and telephoto. And just to remember, focal length equals lens size, or or the length of the lens, right? Sure. And remember, and just as a remember, remember it's measured from film plane to front of lens, right? Just want to make sure you guys remember these these things. Okay. So now we're going to talk about a different type of lens couple different. Remember, there's four main types. Um, so the next time that we're going to talk about is a wide angle lens. So a wide angle lens is a short lens as opposed to a telephoto lens, right? The most common size on that is 25 millimeters. Right? But they can go anywhere from 17 millimeters up to 28 millimeters. This is the kind of lens you have on your cell phone camera. They're wide angle. So the angle of view is often 120 degrees. Whoops. Well, that's kind of crooked looking, isn't it? There we go. 
um, is 120 degrees. So it's a wider angle than you can actually see. Like you're, it's wider than your eyes can see. And one of the reasons that our cell phone photos don't always turn out like we imagine they should is because the lens is showing more than we can actually see with our, with our human eyes, right? Um, so that can be really good for certain situations, but not always. Okay. Um, so the wide angle lens has some certain attributes that are good. Um, it has a very deep or a deep or wide depth of field, okay? 